Hey guys, we're doing a very, very simple way on how to get started with QuickBooks. I've been noticing a lot of confusion around uh, dealing with software. So I'm gonna show you a quick way just to get started. This is a how-to step-by-step guide. So please follow along. I'm about to share my screen. So the first thing that you're gonna do is basically purchase your software. And I bet you're wondering, which software do I need to purchase, right? Which software do I need to purchase? You have a simple start, you have a plus, then you have advanced. So starting off, unless your CPA or accountant recommends other, start off with simple start. It's It has everything you need. If you need more, you can always upgrade, but start off with simple start. Your CPA or accountant will let you know when you need to upgrade. Don't start off with self-employer, a self-employer package. Um, because you're just going to outgrow that quickly. Get simple start, start there. Once you're inside the software, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have all the buttons to the left-hand side in this black box. You don't need to get overwhelmed by this. You don't need all of these tabs, this dashboard, none of that. The first thing you need to do is go to My Accountant, type in your CPA, or your uh, EA or your accountant, type in their email, send them an invite. This gives them access to your book so they can either record for you or they or you can basically um, have them look at any forms that you may need for taxes, for projections, quarterly taxes, whatever it may be. Once you do that, go ahead and connect all of your business bank accounts to your software. Notice I said business bank accounts. Your business bank accounts only needs to be linked up to your QuickBooks software. All of the transactions from your business bank accounts will be basically recorded in this software and either yourself or your CPA or your bookkeeper would do all the recording. Once they finish the recording for the month, you have your financial statements. The financial statements lets us know what uh, business decisions we need to make in business, whether we need to hire more people, whether we need to cut payroll costs, whether we need to come up with creative ways to drive revenue. That's what we're doing. That's the whole purpose of this. Or if we want to take our financial statements, go to the bank and ask for more money. That's the whole idea of this, right? Once you, so back to linking your business bank account only. If you have a personal account, Go ahead and go open up a business bank account. You're only hurting yourself. We we should not be co-mingling personal and business accounts in the same thing. We need to keep those separate. So link your business bank account and you will link it here. You will go to, let's see what actually do this for me. This is a, a sample account of mine. So let's see if it does it. So I'm in my sample account, of course, but it's going to give you a walk, a walk by step by step on how to link your business bank account, link all of your business bank accounts and your business credit cards, link all of them. Now, if they're personal accounts, don't link it. Your CPA is just going to yell at you for that. Don't link any personal accounts. We don't need to see per personal transactions. Link every business account that pertains to this one business that we're dealing with within this software. So once you have all your accounts linked, it should look something like this. You should have your checking, your savings, or a credit card, if you have it. You may have more, you may have less. It should look like this. That's all you need to do. Now, that's all you need to do if you're handling, if you're handing it off to your CPA, because your CPA is going to come in here and start recording all of these transactions. You see me scrolling through. Now, if you don't have a CPA, stay tuned. I'm going to do another video on how to record your transactions, and I'm going to show you the thought process you should while recording all these transactions so you can basically kind of think how an accountant or CPA would think. Let me know if you have any questions, but that's essentially how you get started. Um, it's not hard. Um, let me know if you have questions. I know it may be a little intimidating, but that's essentially all you have to do. Get your software, start with Simple Start, go inside the account, uh, yeah, go inside your QuickBooks software account, link your business bank accounts, and invite your CPA.
your CPA will handle it from there. And so this is a very short video. I left out, of course, some, some in-depth details, but this is just how you get started. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.